Greetings everyone and happy Halloween 2014. This is uh, John, the king of Halloween in uh, Kirkland, Indiana. Population about 900. This is my seventh or eighth haunted house uh, this year. It's uh, the biggest one I've done so far. This one's taken me every single weekend for one year and one month and uh, several thousands of dollars I'm afraid. No one way over budget this year. Uh, so it's a nice night out. I wanted to show you a little bit uh, about what I've been doing here. I'll start with uh, my carriage guy here. He's kind of a hearse. I've had this since about 2003. This guy here, he he sits up like he's like he's alive, and then he goes back down in his coffin. He kind of plays peekaboo with the kids. They really love it when they come by. And he comes up in a minute. A lot of people will like this one. You can't buy this one anymore. It's from Jimmy. And uh, he's got his Grim Reaper driving it. It's about 10 feet tall. This is a new one somebody kind of donated to me out of their garage. I really like these things. They're kind of kind of a pain in the wind. The wind's my biggest enemy. And there's my 12 foot tall pumpkin man again from Jimmy and I've had him since 03 or 04. And this is a town favorite, my uh, Jimmy Castle 03 model. And uh, it talks and sings songs and scary music and I keep this one around for the little ones, the three and four year olds, because I don't let them in my haunted houses, they're too scary. But the little kids love these things. It's a kind of a pain as you can see in the wind too. <clears throat> and our haunted house sign. <clears throat> There's my Dracula guy, I got him from Sam's Club some years ago. He's supposed to stand in a restaurant with a menu, but he looks pretty good out here. And here we go. This is my uh, my haunted house. 32 feet long, 12 feet tall. Seven monster cages. We got a butcher, Hellraiser area, some zombies, a madman. There's a maze in it. Fog machines inside and some airbrush painting that I did of a zombie some years ago. This is a poster I was trying to make look like a stained glass. It has a light behind it. Wanted to show you some of the detail on the uh, on the castle. That's Chucky up there. I always include him. These panels are made of styrofoam, two inch, and they uh, they took weeks and weeks to carve them out, make them look like real brick. There's real motor mix in there, and then paint. This is a 140 pound drawbridge, and when it comes down, it slams on to that little table there. And this is my lava pit with a thousand watts of lighting in it. There's a fog machine that goes in this little number right here and sprays fog across it for Halloween night. So this is where the people enter at. That's uh, my Reagan from Exorcist doll. <clears throat> but I was trying to make a make the hot lava pit look like it was really hot. And here's some more of my brickwork in here. I put these corners together, uh, carved all that out. It's all three-dimensional. <laughs> Try to put some uh, some algae on the side of it and stuff. And my second uh, stained glass. I'm a big fan of the Hellraiser series and I airbrushed this guy a couple of years ago and I put some chains around him, make him look kind of mean. And this is my gargoyle bat up here, kind of looking out over things. 12 feet tall is pretty tall. And I don't know if you guys know, um, you've probably seen these before, they're crank ghosts. I made him a few years ago, made her, excuse me. But uh, she doesn't give me any trouble at all, the kids just love it. And this is one of those Jimmy talking witches, <clears throat> she stirs a cauldron. And of course the baby. 
me and Julie's little zombie baby standing on guard. So I get a pick up the whole outside here. Yeah, you can see this thing for about a half a mile. I got a lot of traffic coming down the road and they want to stop and look at everything. I hope everybody enjoys it this year. I'm expecting about 300 kids and and uh, I sure worked hard. I hope they really, really like it. I got about seven or eight guys coming to help me with it. <clears throat> oh, I got to show you one more guy. This is my Jimmy uh, Monster Man from 2002. He talks to you. He plays the Monster Mash and moves his head. I don't have him plugged up because it's outside right now. But he's kind of scary. So the people enter into the drawbridge and then they come out this way, right? <clears throat> right by the Monster Man on the side of the tower. So you can get a good look at my my priest up here. It's kind of dark out right now. He's got a Bible. So there she is, 2014, and this is my last one because I am absolutely tired, to say the least. Because I got a big scary house too. House built in 1900 and it's haunted too. So it's kind of an extra bonus. But uh, I'm pretty popular uh, here in Kirkland. It doesn't help my cause much. I have a church right next door to me. But they all seem to like it. They come on Halloween night. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'll uh, post part two when the kids get here on Halloween. Thanks, this is John signing out.